This is a dramatic reading of J. Polk's Game Pad of Horror, a crappy pasta by Go Riders, Incredible Comma. Mango, Comma. and Hot Date Paul. Who is responsible for anything you dislike about the story? Comma. And commas. Also, there may be Canadian expressions and spelling. Based on a true story. No, seriously. Comma. Ask J. Pokes. After playing Nintendo Land on his Wii U all day, Comma. J. Pokes' Wii U gamepad spontaneously combusted. Comma. So he went to get a replacement. Luckily, he had the warranty from GameStop. Comma. So he went right in and asked with a clerk working if they had a spare gamepad. Comma. Because his recently blew up. The clerk said they didn't have a completely new gamepad. Comma. But they did have a new one that was previously bought but never used because the owner died and his parents had no use for it. I wonder who got the the Wii U without the gamepad. Not seeing how this could have any consequences. Comma. He accepted and started on his way home. Once he got home, he started charging it and left it for a day or two. When he started to play it, Comma. he noticed a couple of bugs crawling out it, out from under the screen. Then one of the bugs bit him and he died. The end. Jokes. After a large shrill scream, Comma. J. Pokes slam dunked the gamepad into a plastic bag and ran away. He was later approached by the NBA for his mad dunking skills. After a few days, he decided to take a look. Quickly, he ripped the bag open. Comma. And to his surprise, there were no bugs inside of the bag. Was it my imagination? He thought. I guess that must have been what happened. It, But it felt Comma. so real. Never read about someone believing it was their imagination in a creepypasta before, huh? Deciding that he must have just been a little tired, Comma. he booted up his Wii U and started to play Nintendo Land. The only reason he bought his, a Wii U in the first place. At first, the game seemed relatively normal, except a few gra Comma. graphical glitches here and there. When he started playing one of the minigames, Comma. Octopus Dance, Comma. he failed because he had no hand-eye coordination and re ate away at the first move he failed and the octopus started spewing ink at him through the screen. It was as if he was playing on the next-gen Nintendo system, the Nintendo 4DS, coming soon. He then started playing Zelda Battle Quest. Semicolon. He had a bit of fun. Comma. Up until the point where a moblin started attacking him. At first, it seemed normal. Comma. When his mies, with his mies clothes tearing. Comma. But then he noticed something. Comma. Terrifying! Comma. His me had started to bleed. Comma. What was worse th was that that blood was pouring out of the gamepad. Suddenly, a bolt of lightning struck near a tree. Comma. And set fire to the electricity cable. Comma. Anyways, the power stopped working in the house. He ha heard a strange knocking sound coming from outside his house. Comma. And when he looked outside, there was no one there. <gasps> After shrugging it off, saying it must have just been thunder, Comma. he turned around just in time to see the face of a psychotic man smash him over the head with a bloody Wii U console. Not being completely knocked out, seeing as how it was a Wii U console, comma. not a bat, comma. the man had to hit him over the head many more times before j Pokes was knocked out. When j Pokes woke up, he comma. saw the face of the de deranged man staring at him. So you finally woke up? He said. I bet you're wondering why I beat you over the head with a Wii U console. J Pokes replied. Comma. Well, that, well, I mean, that's not something that happens every day. The man seemed like he had just escaped from a mental asylum. Comma. With the cracked smile and a twitchy eye. 
Kama. But he continued his story. Kama. A couple of days ago, I bought this here Wii U from GameStop down the road. They said this one was kinda slightly sorta cursed, but for that reason it was an entire 3% off. You gotta take the deals, ma'am. Seeing as how that would have to be the best deal I could get, I accepted it and took it home to play. When I got home, however, there was no gamepad in the box. I was extremely enraged and was ready to kill someone, but I decided that the best thing to do was ask for a refund at GameStop. When I got there, the clerk laughed at me and said that he warned me. I wasn't laughing. I heard a voice inside my head. It seemed to be coming from the Wii U. It was telling me to make him stop laughing. And I did by telling him that I had low self-esteem and that hurt my feelings. He then apologized and asked me to leave. At this point in time, Jay Pokes was struggling to stifle a laugh. <coughs> the man continued. Geez, how long is this guy gonna talk? Said anyone reading this ever. I searched for hours to find out where you lived, and then I saw you playing on that gamepad that clearly didn't match your Wii U. They wore different colors, after all. I mean, seriously. And then my grudge kicked in. I didn't have. Uh, and I heard the Wii U start whispering to me. Kill him, then you can take the gamepad. I didn't have a weapon, so I just decided to use the console. J Pokes interrupted. Well, if you want the gamepad, I'll just give it to you. The man, the man seemed shocked, but then replied, "Comma, okay, well, just hand it over, then you can leave." J Pokes did that. Comma, then he lived happily ever after. Later that day, the guy realized the gamepad didn't work due to flood damage from blood. Meanwhile, J-Pokes went to the store where they had just gotten a new shipment of gamepads, and only gamepads, because after all, who would want a stupid console? Especially a Wii U, parentheses, but you haven't seen this many parentheses within a parentheses, parentheses, yup, parentheses, 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 and bought a gamepad for 40 bucks, parentheses, laughing! Notice, how Paul isn't responsible for any brain damage while reading this horrible story, the whole purpose of the story is to make a guy... Who lost the gamepad to feel better? The story did not actually end like that. The story ended with J Pokes said, Aw, oh, H E double hockey sticks. Apparently, they look like elves or something. No, you ain't not getting this here Wii U doohickey. J Pokes then shot the man while he was playing on his Wii U. He used an app from the iOS app store. They merged with the Nintendo eShop last week. Kappa. He then cheered at his victory, comma. No one shall ever, ever steal my tablet thingy. Then he turned on another Irish drinking song. It started his victory dance. He didn't realize everyone dies in that song and realized his fate. He then said, Goodbye, the most amazing hot tape ball. It shot himself with the iOS, iOS app. It didn't do anything, and he finally discovered that he never shot the man, only that the man was having a seizure on the floor. He saw it in his face, and eventually stopped moving. j Pokes was then put to jail for 75 years. Why was he sent to jail if j Pokes sat down on his own face? I mean, is that against the law or something? He was still able to access the computer, though. His favorite thing to do every single day was go on Mumble and mess with MC Gamer and play Team Fortress 2. TN, maybe. Notice, anything Hot Date Paul says is a lie. Do not listen to this crazy guy. Get out of my life, Paul. Don't mess with me no more. The end. And don't forget your commas, kids. Ba 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 da 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 ba 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 da 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 ba 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 da da ba 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 da da da